all right guys welcome back my name is Ash Moran and yes this is my final verdict of the gin advent calendar that I had from the 1st to the 24th of December before I start um, I got this for Christmas so as you can see there I've got a flavored gin selection Fentimans mixers as well so I've, I've got oh I can't even see so I've got Miller's what's that one uh, Martin's Miller, Martin's Miller Gin, Hendrix Gin, Slip Smith Orange Gin, and uh, Edinburgh Gin, Rhubarb and Ginger. And with the mixers, they recommend Miller's Gin with Fentiman's Grapefruit Tonic Water, uh, Hendrix Gin uh, with Oriental Yuzasu Tonic, I've never even heard of that, Slip Smith Orange with um, Fentiman's Orange Tonic Water, and rhubarb and ginger with pink grapefruit tonic water so i will be doing that at some point uh, during the week or from january onwards um yeah so without do let's look at the gins which i've taken pictures of of what you get in that gin bit now they might change during the time i don't know but i'll leave a description um with all the gins that i've done with all the links from the first to the 24th and see what you think and if you don't like it that's fine but i thought i'd give him uh what comes with it and my final verdict on it so let's have a look at the gins okay so here we go so this was from day one to 24 so that's day one we've got the uh is it kakaro gin served with a twist of orange you've got the mcqueen scottish gin color changing that wasn't too bad if you have it with tonic it doesn't change but if you have it with lemonade it does change the birkenshire botanic butter Nickel gin, do apologise if I can't pronounce it, but you can buy these actual bottles somewhere. I think you, they range from 15 to 35 pounds in some places. Uh, Silent Pool, uh, Distailers, Albury Winter Gin, Albury Surrey, uh, Edinburgh Gin, Strawberry and Pink Pepper, that's a really good one. Amber Falls, Welsh Gin, Rhubarb and Ginger, that's not a bad one itself. Tankery Gin, that's a really good one. The Beef Eater, London, Peach and Raspberry, that wasn't too bad, that was a good one. Apple and Cinnamon Gin, that was a bloody good one, try and get one of them. Martin Miller's uh, Winterfall Gin, that was uh, mullered with Mandarin and Cinnamon, that wasn't too bad. Koppenberg Gin Mixed Fruit, that was pretty nice, I was pretty shocked with Koppenberg. Koppenberg's come out, they do all the flavoured ciders. <laughs> And now they've started on gin, and now that's not too bad. Uh, uh, Heyman's London Slaw Gin, wasn't too bad. Green Nails, Blood Orange and Fig, that was really nice. Uh, Slipsmith London Dry Gin, very, very nice. O is it Opier Gin, that wasn't too bad. Um, that was very nice. Didn't think much of this one. Uh, the Passion Fruit uh, Pavlova, not really my thing. It tastes like sherbet, so it weren't really my thing anyway, but that was in there. Uh, the American Gin, Aviation Gin, that weren't too bad. Sorry about my face. Uh, Masons of Yorkshire, Orange and Lime Leaf, that was uh, pretty good. Mall Gin, that wasn't too bad. Chase, uh, Hedgerow, Elderflower, that wasn't too bad. Warner's Rob, uh, Rhubarb Gin, that was really nice. Uh, Tankwin's Blood Orange Gin, very, very, very nice. Plus, I want to try and get the original as well, because that's supposed to be good as well. Silent Paul, uh, gin, Blackberry and Gin Cordial, that was very, very nice as well. And of course, sorry about my face, and of course, Lone Wolf Original Gin. And that's it. So, overall, my verdict on all them gins. If you're a first time person, first time try, go for it. Honestly, go for it. it it's blinding what different types of gins you can get. On the uh, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description on every single one and the review of the original gin as well when I first opened it. But the amount of gins that have come out now, like on the back of that gin box, turns it around. It gives you uh, facts of stuff. And even in like the fifties and sixties, Gordon's did seven types of gin, and that was it. And you just just had Gordon's or maybe a local gin and bombay and stuff like that but it wasn't nothing major out and about nothing really going on now look every per like every company every 
distributor. It, uh, everyone wants a piece of gin, flavoured or original, and it's really, really good. Really good, and I don't blame them. First time buyer, go get one. Honestly, go on Amazon, type in gin, advent calendar. There's tons. That one was about 60, 70 pounds at the time. Um, if you wait till about the um, maybe the first or the second, maybe, or just before, maybe the last week of November, some cheaper deals were on there, but there's lots on Amazon. That's where that was from. That was from Amazon, 50, 60 pounds. Um, but go for it. I've done with that one. I'm going to try a different one next year. But that was amazing. It was something different, something good. And yeah, I highly recommend it your first timer. I won't be trying that one again. I want to try something different and I will do it on the next one. But good types of flavours. A lot of it was from England. That's the odd one. Uh, from India. There's an odd one from oh, where was it? America. And there was another one somewhere. That's other country. I can't remember where. But a lot of it was uh, in, um, English made from different parts. So, but yeah highly recommend and if you've had one out before go get another one because there's tons out there in shops and on that, uh, amazon so yeah thank you very much guys uh, that's it that's the full thing leave a comment tell me what you think like i said in the description i'll leave all the doors and the first review when i first opened it and then all the doors after uh thank you very much as well uh, for the 56 subscribers really fortunate i appreciate you guys subscribing if you're new subscribe i'm bringing out a trailer on the first of january um, I'm going to get that done and made Ready for you guys That'll be a premiere Which I've set up during the week um, To tell you what I'll be doing For next year Because I'm learning I'm building my channels I'm going along um, And stuff like that I've got uh, 49ers news coming out During the week as well And other bits and bobs So thank you very much for watching guys And I'll see you guys on the next video